Howdy, howdy, howdy! Surreal Canine here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explore the Sky. In the last episode, we uh, were on our usual business when we found out that Guildmaster Ismelda has made her final decisions for who will go on the expedition. So, let's get out here and learn the truth. Now then, I shall announce the expedition members at this time. Guildmaster, the memo, please. The chosen members are written on this memo. Step forward if your name is called. Ooh, it's finally happening! My heart's a-pounding, by golly! Without further ado, I will announce those who've been chosen. Our first member, Shoop! Yes, I did it! But if you really think about it, it's only natural that I would get picked. Woohoo! Says you. Big talker, yep, yep. Is he saying he wasn't even nervous? Next up is Alfred or er, Albert. Alfred. Hey, hey, hey! Got it! I got picked! Hey, hey! Whew, that's a relief. Next is oh, what's this? Oh, this is a surprise. Our next member is Buck. Really? Really and truly? Golly, me? I'm going on the expedition? Hmm? Is anything the matter, Buck? Come on, step forward. Ugh. I sure want to step up, I truly do, but I'm feeling right overwhelmed here. My legs aren't moving. And so be it. We'll ignore it and move on. Next, we have Sunny and Belle. Oh, us too? Eek! Oh my gosh! Uh, yes, and there we have the expedition party members. Uh, oh, looks like the losers are out. Heh, <laughs> serves them right. Oh, ho, ho, they had it coming. So, that's it for the expedition members. Uh, what's this? Something scribbled on the margins of this memo. Guildmaster's writing is such a messy scrawl. This is so hard to decipher. If I said that aloud, the consequences wouldn't be pretty. Just to keep a stiff upper beak and swallow those words. Uh, it appears there are more expedition members. The others are Dale Jr., Dale Sr., and Gilliam. Oh, and Abram and Daniel. That is all. Wait a second, what? 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 Guildmaster, this list seems to include every member of the guild. Yep, that's right. Uh, well then, it seems that the whole selection process was meaningless. Moreover, if we were to all go, we would be leaving the guild empty. Are you sure it would be alright to leave with no one to look after the guild? It'll be fine. We'll knock out properly. Guildmaster, I also have some misgivings. Do you think perhaps we may have too many members for an expedition? Hmm, when a friend asks something like that, I have to wonder why. I mean, first of all, why does everyone have to go? What's the point in having everyone participate? Huh? Of course there's a point. That is, if everyone went, it would be more fun. You know what they say! The more the merrier! Well, he's noisy and excited and having fun. I started thinking about it, and made me so excited I couldn't sleep. What? So that's how it is, everyone. We're all going on the expedition, and it'll be fun, fun, fun. Let's all do our best. Hooray! Uh, well, that's settled. Fine, let me explain the schedule. Right after this, I'll hold a briefing on the expedition. As such, the chosen members, that is, everyone, each of you should get prepared to embark on the expedition. Let me remind you, this is a guild-exclusive expedition. You may not bring non-guild members of your teams. As such, you won't be able to add members at Chimico Assembly. They simply aren't allowed to join the expedition. Keep that in mind while you're making preparations. When you are prepared for the upcoming journey, you should return here. Then, inform me of your readiness. That is all. Dismissed! I can scream! I'm so happy! Everyone's going on the expedition! Our guildmaster has done it again. I'm so shocked and tingling. I didn't think we'd get picked, so that came as a total shock. I'm glad we never gave up. Hey, hey! By golly, I'm mighty happy that they're even letting me go on this expedition. Oh, not just me. Why, everyone gets to go. It's like I'm dreaming. It's making me feel mighty emotional. 
It's no dream. This is really happening. Anyway, since we are all going, it means we're all going to be put to the test as well. That's why I would like to propose that all of us apprentices work as one. And let's make this expedition a success. Yippee! That's a spirit! Yeah! That's a spirit! Let's do our best. Let's band together and do it. Yeah! <clears throat> Daniel's team was rewarded with a bigger treasure bag. You can now carry more items than you could before. We can now carry 32. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Hey there, Dale Jr. The Secret Bazaar. I haven't seen it either, but the rumor tells me that the Secret Bazaar is a mysterious facility that appears occasionally in dungeons. You can heal your wounds and even buy a grab bag there, so I hear. Several kinds of shops are there. I wonder what other shops can be found there. I'd love to find out for myself. Maybe there's a chance we can find a Secret Bazaar on our expedition? You happen to find a Secret Bazaar, Daniel. Be sure to tell me all about it. The Secret Bazaar shows up on secret stairs sometimes in dungeons. Counts as a hidden trap tile, which means you might be able to see it with an eyedrop seed. But they're pretty rare, probably. Loads of treasure, huh? Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in your way, shoot. Don't worry about it. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? Well, too bad, we're gonna get our revenge. So, <clears throat> if I continue writing the fanfic, here is what I would say. Daniel, Abram, and Buck would not get picked for the adventure due to their uh, colossal screw-up quote-unquote, at Apple Woods. So the three of them would be left at the guild by themselves. But this, in turn, would actually provide the perfect opportunity to get his revenge on Team Skull. He would leave... Daniel would leave Abram and Buck at the guild and secretly follow Team Skull. And he would slay them all. <laughs> But there would still be the problem that uh, even in murder mode, Daniel would still be no match for Stanky and his absurdly high level and his noxious gas. Uh, fortunately for him, there happened to be another explorer in the area who also had his set sight on Team Skull. So while Stanky was busy fighting this ace explorer, Daniel would scale a nearby cliff and crush the entire team under a falling boulder. And the three of them would never be seen again. The end. <laughs> nah, there's more to the story, but uh, let's actually wait until I get in the dungeon. Just kind of uh, getting all kinds of distracted. Let's see here. Let's store that. Let's stash all of these. Uh, all of these two, I suppose. I'm pretty sure we have access to our storage while... Uh, while we're on the expedition, so it's not too much of an issue. We just need to prepare for the first dungeon. Let's take that out. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, two gummies. Uh, let's see. A couple of reviver seeds can't hurt. I say a couple, and I break, take out four of them. And the zinc. Seems pretty good to me. Let's see. Can 
sell this, I suppose. And with our new funds, let's buy a gummy or two. Or one. Purple gummies are for ghost types. I guess we'll buy that one for Daniel, I suppose. I don't know. Alright, let's head on out to the cafe. Oh, but first, I must make a deposit. Oh. Wait, really? I can buy another gummy. Alright. Let's do that. Was this here before? I don't think it was here before. Black gummies are for dark types. I accidentally sold one of my gummies, didn't I? I did. <laughs> oh well. Recycle some stuff. Ooh, a new discovery. Treasure! And a higher grade of recycled items. Very nice. Let's see what we can get. Alright, a defense scarf, a power band, eye drop seed. That's pretty neat. And a silver ticket for six items. Let me see. Well, we might as well trade in some of our uh, max elixirs. See what kind of cool stuff we can get from our silver tickets. A good win. Let's see here. A gold ribbon! That is worth a lot of money. We are going to sell that right away. Pokey. Very cool. Let's see. I don't think we're going to be running into our, uh, our friendly neighborhood secret bazaar in any of these dungeons coming up. So we'll put away the eye drop seeds for now. our new stash of gold. Uh, give that zinc to, I guess, Daniel? Yeah, that makes sense. special. Alright. Oh, 
Huh. Let's go talk to Mr. Paul. Accounted for, it appears. One, let me explain about this expedition. First, the objective exploration of Fogbound Lake. Fogbound Lake? Correct, it is a lake that is said to be located far to the east. However, it is perpetually enshrouded by a dense fog. As such, its actual existence has never been confirmed. It is merely the foggy mirage of the spot that lives to this day on rumor alone. It is also rumored a treasure of exquisite beauty is hidden there. Wow! Treasure? We're going on a treasure hunt? This is so exciting! Yep, it'll be fun, fun, fun! <laughs> Everyone, open your wonder maps, please. First off, this is where Fogbound Lake is said to be. As an uncharted territory, the area is shown under a cloud cover. This fortress is here. As you can see, the lake is a considerable distance from the guild. Therefore, we'll encamp at the foot of the highlands here. That will serve as our base camp. If we were to travel all at once in a single group to the base camp, our mobility would be restricted. The strategy is to split up into several groups to travel to the base camp. I shall announce those groups now. The first group is Sonny, Shoop, Dale Jr., and Gilliam. You guys, you better not hold me back! Let's super go! You should talk. The next group is Dale Sr., Bell, and Albert. We're a solid group. I promise to try my best. Hey, hey, likewise. Uh, let's see. The Guildmaster and I shall travel as a pair. That is acceptable, yes. Aw, I have to go with Paul. It's so boring. Please don't be gift difficult. This is a key element of our strategy. Me. Our guests, Team Skull, should travel independent of us as their as their own group. That is how we were able to kill them without get it attracting any attention. Understood. And the final group is Abram, Daniel, and Buck. We're in the same group. I hope I can keep up. Yep, yep. <laughs> same here, Buck. Well then. Everyone, let's get to it and move out. Hooray! <clears throat> and thus, the guild's expedition party began making its way toward Fogbound Lake. According to the plan, the party was split into the designated groups, and Daniel, Abram, and Buck's group plotted its course. The group settled on a route along the seacoast to reach the base camp. We don't need to save. Chapter 7, the guild's big expedition. Wow, the sea is right up this way, Daniel. And just look at this cliff. Yup, yup. I reckon this is looking more and more like a true expedition. Path ahead will surely get tricky. This is what real explorers like to see. And this. This here is something well known to all us explorers. It's a Kangaskhan rock. Kangaskhan rock? Yes siree, you heard right. That there's a Kangaskhan rock. A Kangaskhan rock lets you stow and take out items and it lets you save a record of your progress. It's a real help to travelers. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to use them. Reckon I shouldn't ought to talk like a big shot. I just want to say again, this here's my first expedition. Ooh, kind of nervous, by golly. <laughs> that goes for us, too. We're all beginners at this. Let's just do our best. Let's check the Wonder Map. Our present location is here, just south of the Hot Springs. We're supposed to link up with everyone at the base camp. That's way over here. So as a first step, we could try reaching this spot. We'll try reaching here as our first objective. Yup, yup, I agree with that. Abram is acting like a leader. I didn't notice it before. It must be the excitement from exploring that's bringing it out. But Abram, who was so timid before, is trying so much harder. Yes, Abram is getting stronger and more confident, bit by bit. Oh. Huh? Huh? Problem? If you look closely here, there are two entrances. Huh? 
Now that is mighty vexing. How we do, Daniel? Which way should we go? Let's go along a side path. These side paths show up when you are locked into a path on the story. It's just a really short grinding dungeon. But I'm gonna be showing them all off anyway. As you can see, uh, Buck has gained a level. <laughs> gonna have to uh, put that in our stored data. What are his stats, anyway? I can't see a summary of them. Oh, well. So, yeah. This Ace Explorer that uh, happened to be fighting Team Skull when Daniel killed them, he would uh, sense something special about Daniel. Either the fact that he is probably human, or that, or that he has this uh, Chekhov's lens ability, and he would remain silent about Daniel's role in the deaths of Team Skull. He would return to town and claim that it was the work of a dangerous outlaw, uh, which is technically true, but that this outlaw had been eluding him for some time. As for Daniel, he had yet to get his revenge against Paul, but uh, being alone at the guild HQ, it would be the perfect opportunity to just burn the whole place down. Or at the very least, Paul's room. <laughs> so, seeing Daniel's uh, radical actions, uh, Abram and Buck would make their decision to part ways with him. Abram would step up and try to restore the HQ before everyone returned, getting, even getting the townspeople in on the action. And then he would report Daniel's uh, crimes to Magnazone. After that, he would become the leader of Team Olympia and undertake the mission of bringing Daniel to justice. Daniel would part ways with Abram and Buck, taking only his badge and a perfect apple with him. And he would set out on his own. This Ace Explorer would end up uh, sort of playing both sides of this conflict between members of Team Olympia, but that is for another time. Oh dear. Um, actually, I should probably yeah, do that. So, either way, Daniel will learn a bit more about his ability on his expedition, and Abram will start to step up as a leader. It's just that, uh, the fanfic version is so much edgier, you don't even know. It's practically the mission statement at this point, right? <laughs> So yeah, while we are on this expedition, we will not be able to get any members to join our team. It's just the three of us here. These treasure boxes will uh, start to be dropped from now on. When we return from our expedition, we'll be able to do something cool with them in town. But uh, for now, they're just kind of taking up space. What? This place again? Seems to me we're back out where we came from. Yup, yup. Looks like that path loops right back to where we started. We aim to move on. I reckon we ought to go, go to Craggy Coast. Alright, we'll take another shot at this. Let's get it done! First, I'll stash my stuff. Let's see, we can stash these. Stash the cross-eye seeds for now. We don't need this many apples. There, that is what we are doing.
Alternatively, here's another plan for uh, Daniel's Revenge. This is Craggy Coast, and as we all know, the coastlands are uh, subject to tides. Well, what if Daniel touched a seashell, saw a vision of it being carried in on the tides, or carried out by the tides, and thought to use the tides to his advantage. He would block the path of, uh, of Team Skull and just trap them in a cave and let them all drown. Of course, uh, that doesn't let this Ace Explorer get in on the action, so uh, maybe that's not the best way to go about this. This is what we call fanfic writing on the fly. It's not something I'm very good at. <laughs> Another uh, really neat piece of music to add to the soundtrack here. Dratini is our first dragon type. Dragon types are only weak against ice and dragon moves. This is only the fourth generation, so the fairy type does not yet exist. They resist, uh, let me think, fire, water, grass, and electric. That is what they resist. Gastrodon down there is the evolved form of Shellos, another water ground type, I believe. Wingle is a water flying type, which means uh, Abram's attacks will be super, super effective. going on. Sir, are a danger. Yeah, yeah, let's score, whatever. Go away. Sfeel is, uh, I'm pretty sure they have one of those multi hit moves, uh, so watch out for them, I guess. It might be too low of a level for it to matter, though. I don't know. Apple. I forget how long Craggy Coast is. I'm willing to bet somewhere between 12 and 14 floors. Starting to get to the point where uh, mystery dungeons are getting longer and you might run out of belly. Sounds like such a weird thing to say, but it is true. Kind of like the saying, I got so much gold, I'm running out of pants. <laughs> Good old Rao Pal. He is such a guy. Oh dear. Uh, double oh dear. Krabby, you get out here where I can see you. And preferably attack you. Like so. Ooh. Starting to get a little tired of sitting down for so long. This might be our uh, this might be our last episode for today. <coughs> uh, hey, it's the expedition. Uh, this is, this is what, Celio? Yeah. The evolved form of Sfeel. 
Another water ice type, I believe. Seals are pretty cute. Of course, orcas are pretty cute too. They're both pretty cute. I don't know which one I like better. I think we'll be uh, holding on to some of our blue gummies, not making drinks out of them. It's good that we found two of them, though, because I think th uh, two is the number we need. This will pay off uh, a very long time into the post game, but it's good that we. Oh, jeez, Powder Snow. That is a that is an attack that hits the entire room. Kind of a uh, dangerous matter. An equally dangerous matter is running out of scratch in an area with so many water types. It's too bad we don't have a type Bulldozer Emera. Those would not be introduced until, I think, Super Mystery Dungeon? I don't know. I haven't played Gates to Infinity. Yeah. So, being a water ice type, you would think that uh, fire attacks do neutral damage to seal and Sphelio. That is not the case. Their thick fat ability uh, reduces damage from fire and ice. Okay. That was what, 13 floors? Whew, by golly, I reckon we're finally through. Yes, but we still have a long ways to go for the base camp. Let's check the Wonder Map. Present location is here. Base camp is there. I reckon we've gotten ourselves a lot closer. We're nearly there. If we cross over this mountain, we'll reach the base camp. Whoops, that was my belly growling. <laughs> Us too. If we start climbing the mountain now, I think it'll be night before we finish. If you want to call it a day, we can rest here tonight. I agree completely. And let's eat. Yeehaw! Alright, gang, we have to get moving. Crossing this mountain is going to take us to the base camp. Here we go. Let's get it done. So, yeah. Let's see here. Stash uh, two of our apples. Both of our blue gummies. We'll hold on to the rest. Alright. We'll save our game. And that is going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you next time we cross Mount Horn. Bye-bye for now.